you ready? <laughs> See? I told you we'd be able to go out. Wyatt, we're sitting in a gross old pool eating sandwiches my mom made us. Listen, hey, you don't know what else I have planned for you today, okay? It's gonna be fun, I swear. I mean, it's not like we could do anything else anyways. I'm just glad I get to see other people besides my parents, even if you smell awful. <laughs> Oops, I forgot, it's six feet apart. <laughs> That's my best friend, Lydia. We met in kindergarten and have been inseparable ever since. Long story short, we were supposed to graduate high school last year, but shit hit the fan, so I guess nobody knows what's happening anymore. I suppose everyone expected this to be over in a few months, and the world opened back up, and it killed even more people. Pretty much, we're in a weird limbo, and nobody can go anywhere at all. Today marks one year since this all started, and it's also Lydia's birthday, so of course we had to do something. How did your mom let you out of the house anyway? Since when has my mom cared about anything I've ever done? Yeah, true. The real question is, how did your parents let this happen? Have you met your dad? <sighs> well, my mom told my dad I wasn't feeling well, so he won't come up near my room for the next two weeks. You know him. I mean, mom understands to some extent. I love Michelle. Oh my god. Best woman I've met in my life. Yeah, yeah, I know. You have a crush on my mother, I know. It's not true. I promise I don't. Well, maybe I don't promise. I hate you. Warranted. So what's next on your birthday agenda, sir? Well, we're not staying here much longer because they caught me here last week. So let's hop in the car and we'll head to the next undisclosed location. Where's the car? <laughs> oh yeah, this isn't creepy at all. Just get out of the car. I present to you, your birthday gift. I have no idea how to use these. Caroline! Caroline! Lucy Caroline, all the guys would say she's mighty fine. Mighty fine! But mighty fine only got you somewhere half the time. And the other half either got you. Cause daughter, coming up short. Just not important. You're coming home right now. No. I'm sorry, what did you just say to me? Get in the car. I said no. I'm not listening to you anymore. You never gave a shit about me and left me to parent myself. I'm not gonna let you boss me around when you were never there to tell me what's right in the first place. You are such a worthless no good. I should have never wasted my time on you. Yeah, go ahead. Drive away, you failure. You know what? You're a waste. You're a freaking waste. Yeah, go ahead. Drive off. Drive away from your problems. Yeah, screw you two. So that was the end of that, I guess. No, I haven't seen Lydia since. I dropped her off that night, and then I was gone. No more dad, no more home life. But that meant no more Lydia. No more snarky remarks or sandwiches from her mom. No more FaceTime at 2 in the morning talking about our celebrity crushes. No more of the things we used to do. This is the new normal. But we couldn't leave each other without going out with the band.